what's the difference from somebody that wants to be transgender and somebody that wants to be transracial? What's my the difference? Transgender what's the difference? and transracial? My understanding the person is, was trying to tell me that being transgender is okay, but if you're transracial, that's wrong. I'm like, who are you to tell them what's wrong? So that, my, that's the same narrative they almost like push. Yeah, because nigga, that's who they they feel like they are the wrong race. Yeah. So who are you, we to tell them you you can't do that? You are now listening to the Black of the Berry, disputed the Jews. Most recorded. Right? <laughs> your name now. You just say your name. Uh, my <laughs> so DX, and then you say I'm sure. This thing, you're just you're like you want the best of three worlds. <laughs> like you was crazy. You're scary. Now I understand why the girls are running away. Right? <laughs> Cause all this time I've been thinking girls are crazy. Now it makes sense. Keyshawn. Yeah, I don't want to. Say, I don't want to say he's ass, but like Man. he's made some. Wow. He's made some good music, bro. Wow, your own guy. No, 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 no. He's <laughs> not. No, no. He's not trash, bro. He's made good music. So, like, you're what's the relevance to saying he might be ass? No, no, no. I, I, I was gonna say. I was gonna say he doesn't put much effort, but that just sounds bad. <laughs> This guy says he's ass. That's crazy. No, I know. <laughs> <laughs> it's just that, dude. That's crazy. Let's angry. cut that out real quick. <laughs> Yo, wow. don't leave that in. Shout out, Carsey. He just doesn't put, like... <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> he doesn't put effort into, like, marketing or nothing. Like, okay, just thinks he just, like... He'll put out music. YouTube, like, YouTube video. He, he has, it. like... He's good, like... <laughs> he's good, but the problem is just that everything else except for like his music like his talent because people don't understand that that's probably like 70 80 percent of what you need to do right what like just just singing is not enough like your marketing oh your video, nigga music is fucking business bro that's what i'm saying bro. if niggas want to go into business they should take econ- uh, economics uh, economics courses bro <laughs> what'd you say he said some of them are straight misses some of his songs are misses. Bro, this is what me. All he does, all he does is like freestyle. Like he doesn't write. That's why it's, it's pretty surprising. Not surprising, but like, it's like, it's more, yeah, I guess surprising. It's more surprising when he comes out with like something good because all of it is just freestyle and all of it. And so many artists do that nowadays. They, they don't even like write stuff. So many artists don't write. I mean, from yeah. what I've heard, but mm, I feel like that's the shit they'd be trying to. They be out. saying, yeah, they be like, saying, oh, this is off the dome, da da. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> These niggas be capping. <laughs> Nigga, that's just like how Drake be trying to say he writes. Drake, all shit. okay, Drake, do, Drake, Drake, Drake has says writers. Bro. Drake says he doesn't write all his shit though. I'm pretty sure for like his albums, like there's like writers in them, like. If you put, if you look at like the description and stuff, have you ever spoken with a Drake fan though? Yeah, but like Drake fans are idiots, bro. Those they niggas are ride always, dick. bro, like convinced that nigga writes everything. It's I'm always like, it's the same type of nigga, bro. Was hmm? that Thane one of them? Who? Just drop his name, but yeah. Who? <laughs> Thing? Wait, oh, is this oh shit! <laughs> Yo, yes. I didn't know we oh, were recording. <laughs> no, I didn't know we recording. Thank now, yeah, I know a couple people like that. Like they will defend Drake, but like that's how we are with the. Don't say it. <laughs> <laughs> Who are the most uh, annoying music fans? Young boy fans. Stop! No, 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 no. New gen young boy fans. Nigga, people it, who hopped on. No, him no. It's just in, because like, nigga, so many people want to hate on him and like spin this type of narrative that he's this type of guy and his music's all repetitive and so that's why young boy fans come in and we start defending and it seems like we're meat riding, but nigga, we're just defending the niggas. No, 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 no. Yes, nigga, I'm a young boy fan, oh, so I die, nigga. Nah. <laughs> no, but like, we're talking about. Keep, I heard I don't shout Isaac, bro. Isaac was saying that um, young boy makes R and B. Yeah, he, d- yes. he makes everything. Oh, no, yeah. as in we're good all R&B. We're, we're all young boy fans. <laughs> and, uh, it's all right. We're all part of it. I mean, yeah. I mean yeah. they're young boy fans. Uh, um, that's nice to me. I heard they don't put lotion on young boy fans. <laughs> 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 oh, shit. 
Is that why you asked for cream the last time you came? Wow. Yeah. Whoa, 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 whoa. Uh, that, was, that was a long time ago. That was a different man. Different what are you now? Man. You've changed? Yeah, I'm, uh, I'm not a young boy fan anymore. Are you cuffed now? What? Well, you said you changed last oh, time. Oh, am I cuffed? Yeah. I'm on the brink, bro. I'm on the I'm on the lover boy wave. On the brink. What does that entail? It means... uh. Trying to get like me? I'm trying to get like this guy right here. Not you. Yeah, that's dope, <laughs> no, no, you were definitely pointing to me. But that's a, definitely a dangerous route that not a lot of many people can take, bro. Well, the lover boy being way? cuffed, bro. The it's lover hard. boy route. Ah, lover boy. Oh, lover boy. It's dangerous. You can the, get hurt. Yeah, but like, no, you can't. Really? Look at Drake. <laughs> yes, no, you, can. you can get hurt. Yeah, you can. Look, at, look at Drake. Drake, Drake, Drake has a bag, bro. Yes, Drake, you no girl's gonna. I'm okay. Obviously, girls are still gonna do Drake dirty, but they'll do him dirty in a different aspect. Like yeah. they'll try and take his money or some shit. But I just feel like Drake has more privilege than a lot of niggas. Oh yeah, you can, that, you, that's, yeah, you can that's, get that's, that goes without saying. It's 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 a dangerous path. I can't lie. It is <laughs> because nigga, what do you think being a lover boy entails? Like being vulnerable with every like girl. actually Yo, caring. Nah, that's <laughs> wild. Vulnerable with every girl. You don't wild. you don't have to be vulnerable, but actually like. Cause like people like I don't want to say no names, but like there's a couple guys that like <laughs> <laughs> there's guys that like actually just don't care about anything. Those oh, are the most like dangerous. The one sitting next to you. <laughs> what? Hmm? Yeah, you gonna let him come <laughs> like that? Whoa, 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 whoa. About you. <laughs> guys that they don't give. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so, yeah. so so I'm saying like you don't even like. I but it's I, always niggas that had crazy summers that want to talk. Like I just don't get wow. it. Yeah, it's it's always those guys. Uh, yeah, uh, you always. don't go on talking. What are you talking about? <laughs> what am I talking about? Let's switch the subject real quick. I was supposed to say that crazy summer. What do you mean, bro? What do you mean by that? I thought you wanted to switch the subject. You, you want me to expand? You, you had a crazy summer? No, nah, no. Nah. I was I was saying in the general sense, but I wasn't including myself in the general sense. You didn't have a crazy summer? No. Nah. How did your summer go? Why wasn't it crazy? I just worked and stayed uh, on my grind. That was about it. I was in summer courses. Oh, okay. okay. So you didn't have time for nothing else? Okay. Maybe. Not really. It I mean, bad. I went to church like in between, but... Hmm. No, God's watching you. Yeah. That God's watching. God is fully subscribed. <laughs> God is fully subscribed. How would you right? describe your summer, Doc? Sir? Did you have a crazy summer? No. No? What about all the events you planned? Huh? What about all the events you planned? Yeah, I, I, I no, planned the events shot up? well. Huh? Yeah. <laughs> What did he say? I said, didn't one of them get shot up? Wouldn't you describe that as crazy? No, 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 no. The event was completely finished. It was <laughs> got completely shot finished. And then some people were shooting each other. <laughs> that, that has nothing to do with me. <laughs> He's trying to distance himself. <laughs> <laughs> My name was not attached to that. It, 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 shot it, doesn't, your it doesn't make sense. What kind of people sense. you invite to your events, bro? But just what I'm saying, it doesn't make sense. Everything's finished. Everything's turned off. Why are you still here? And why are you still shooting? They want There's problems, nothing to even come inside Okay, for. so your preference of race for like throwing parties, is it black people? I don't have a preference. Okay, it's just okay. what comes. Like at the end of the day, if a white person is throwing an event, you're most likely going to see white people there. Okay, True. but what race do you think you could throw the best event for? Do you believe it's like black people or like Africans or like... Uh, Canadians is hard. To, like, because I'm not from here, so I don't know. Yeah. I don't even know anything about the Canadian demographic when it comes to like the white people mm, okay. but if I was uh, in London I still think I can throw a decent event for white people but I'll probably say it's, it's my own people bro because at yeah, the end of the day I know what like. I like and what I like most often than not is what my people like yeah so yeah I'll probably say yeah black events but I'm not strictly a black if you're white you want to come to my event come <laughs> there's no there's no extra cover at the door yeah. Sam, how was your summer, bro? I was in my bag, bro. I had like what one weekend that we went to a cabin. Oh, yeah, who's we? Huh? Who's we? Me and my teammates. Oh yeah, what yeah. did you? We were just chilling. That's like, what, that's not, which no, team, like we went to the what? cabin, like have because every day of the week we're like training and shit. Oh, is it basketball? Like, what no, is soccer. It? Oh yeah. Whoa. whoa. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, the way you said teammates, I thought you were a group of... That's what I'm saying, bro. Nah, 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 nah. Teammates is crazy, you know? Nah. You're, you're doing tag team on, you know? Yo, 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 yo. yo. I have to clarify it. Nah, 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 that's crazy. <laughs> yeah, you had a crazy that's summer. Clarify, bro. Nah, to the cabin after with your boys is insane. Bro. Was there girls there? I'm going to stop I, I was no, not. I was not. Yo, <laughs> you can ask her now, bro. I plead the fifth. 
Yeah. I, I don't think you can flee the fifth Canada, bro. You okay. can. You can. I don't know. Is no. it is it is it a Canadian thing? It might be an American thing because there's a lot of people think that the Miranda rights happens in Canada, but that doesn't. Okay, happen. Miranda. That's, that's pretty American. crazy that everyone thinks like the world revol- revolves around the U.S. Yeah, like, but there there was there. I would say they're what's shown in social media the most. Yeah, that's, yeah, that's the yeah. Yeah, because everyone thinks everything in the U.S. applies to like everywhere else. Bro. Not everywhere yeah. else. Social media as well as TV. Yeah, yeah. Look, like like even our court system, we copy the U.K. We don't copy the states. Yeah. Like yeah. That's yeah, but up. people people talk about like like freedom of speech and stuff like that, like a constitution. Like we don't have the same stuff as, yeah. as the U.S. I say bro, I'm a Nigerian, Canada, so. Canada is so far from the US in so many ways. Yeah, yeah we're actually pretty different. Very, very far bro, from the US. Bro. I was shocked. I actually thought I was going to come here and see some hillbillies. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> you, you have, you've been to Alberta? Um, I've only been to Edmonton. Okay, well, I, I, I deal with hillbillies. <laughs> is, that, is that where all the hillbillies reside? Bro, when I go to school. Cause I go you went to school in Alberta? I go there right now. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Why are you here? Back for holidays. Well, yeah, but right here. I hear. I miss it. Like, I know oh, like I'm from. Yeah, like, that, yeah. He's, from, he's like, from your ends. Which ends? He's like, from I grew UK. up in London. Tell him, bro. I grew up in Tell him. How you lose your accent? Hackney. Because I came when I was like, what, 12? Okay, 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 okay. I came in when I was like 12, 13. Hackney. Hackney. Yeah. I heard it was dangerous. Where the real niggas reside. Where? Yeah. That's the London city right there. I was dead. No, but yeah, as you were saying, uh, bro, because I live in a like little town like outside of Edmonton, like two hours outside of Edmonton. That's what yeah, they're a real deal, like cowboy boots, school type, uh, bro. Right here, all we have is just fishermen. <laughs> 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 but one thing you got to get paid for is it's incredibly diverse. Yeah. Like, right, bro, if you want a girl from any different type of race, well, any different type of country, it? bro, you can find it here. It's always about girls with this I'm guy. Not, yeah. You notice? <laughs> <laughs> well, we talk about restaurants, too. Yeah. All the different types of restaurants. Yeah. It's all about pleasures. Apparently, there's a, lot of, uh, there's a lot more restaurants, like, a lot more restaurant openings here than most other cities, which I didn't know. Oh, yeah, I heard about that. I, it, it doesn't even seem like that's the case. This place is just like... Yeah, because you, you gotta get to out of here, man. Yeah, that's true. Did you say you go to McDonald's last time? What? Shit. For what? I don't know. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> this guy's Where, okay, what, 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 what restaurants do you go to? If any. What? Hmm? Bubble tea doesn't count as restaurants, bro. I don't I go mean, there. Isn't it technically a restaurant? <laughs> I don't think so. What would it be? What, it, what, what do you be? eat at bubble tea? The Apart bubble. from the bubbles. You can, you can get food there. Which food? There's like, yeah, like desserts. desserts. Yeah. Mm. I wouldn't know that. Like, is that a restaurant? <laughs> I've never been there. I've never had bubble tea, so. I mean, like, would bubble tea be considered a restaurant, though? Like, no, what would it be called, then? If you take a girl to go ha- get bubble tea, is that a date? Oh, fuck. That's what I... We had this conversation, but <laughs> he was trying to convince me that I'd been on multiple dates. I'm like... <laughs> okay, okay. You are taking this girl... To get a high end because it's high end. Well, high end desserts. It's a high end dessert. It's a luxury <laughs> drink. So, nigga, that can be delegated as a date. Girls, do you think bubble tea is luxury? <laughs> drink? No, no, no. It is. <laughs> nigga, it ain't no fucking water. Is it? It's luxury, huh? It is. Okay. How much is like? No, 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 If I get a, a one liter of Coca Cola. <laughs> it's like five dollars. Is that Coke? Is, is a poor man's drink. Right? <laughs> it's like around it's the same price as bubble tea. Okay, okay. But if you go, if you go grab coffee with a girl, is that a date? Yeah. If you guys go sit at the coffee shop, is that a date? Yeah, but <laughs> what's coffee, the difference? Bro, coffee you, has the like you sit down around coffee. Like, okay, you can sit, you can down, sit down, down at bubble tea. tea. You, who sits down? Yo, whoa, whoa. So what are you trying to say? Hey, I don't know. So what are you trying to say? Just because the just because of the fact that you don't sit down when you get bubble tea makes it not a date. What do you do on your bubble tea dates? If I was to go on the bubble tea <laughs> date, I would go get the bubble tea, a little dessert from the bubble tea place. We'd sit down. And that's where we engage in conversation. And I would call that a date. 
Can anyone vouch for this? Anyone has been on a bubble tea? <laughs> go, go to the cab. Bubble, bubble tea. Me. Bubble tea. Yeah, I, I, see, I'm with you. I'm with it's bubble. a date? Yeah. That's not a date. Okay, well, so what date? Delegate, to you, what is a date? What's I need date? you to describe what All a right, date let me, is. Let me, let me try and... If I go to McDonald's, get a water cup, fill it up with some Coca-Cola. Yeah. Is that a date? Okay. Okay. If we're sitting down around the, 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 the water cup... <laughs> <laughs> and having a con- an in depth conversation, okay, that, but that's see, the thing. Think about it. Convince, try and convince a girl that that is a date compared to a cap cap. Yeah, person. it's gonna be easier to convince her. But is it is it just what, what she thinks is a date? Bro. That then. That, okay, so are you telling me that, that that's a date then? I'm saying it's basically the same thing. <laughs> Damn near, <laughs> nigga. One is free and no, one no, costs fourteen ninety nine. What do you mean fourteen ninety nine? How would well, you nigga, know you that? You begin the cheap shit, nigga. How I get the <laughs> I get the luxury one. But I don't even I don't even like. Do you don't stuff. go there, but so you're speaking on something you don't know about. Yeah, that. but I'm just saying, if I were to, I wouldn't consider it a date. Why not? Cause it's not. Dates are supposed to be romantic. What is a date for you then? That's what we all that's, describe. That's a good what question. Question. Well, that's are you talking about like a first date, like your first time linking shorty, and you you just take her to? This is why he's the real lover boy. Can't tell <laughs> yo, yo, can't. Yeah, what's a date to you? Yeah, I'm like me. What do you think? Sound very is? awesome. Let me see how you trying to. <laughs> 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 I'm like, 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 I'm so, so what do you do? How, how have you ended up in a situation where you were nearly cuffed then? Whoa. Wow. He, he got you. Isn't that what you Who said? Who said I was nearly cuffed? You. I said I'm in the stages you said you of being a lover the boy. Brink of the brink. The brink. What does that mean? Of not being cuffed, of being a lover boy. Oh. Is that's that different. I, okay, <laughs> yeah, you did say that. Okay, yeah, yeah. Okay, you're, you're, you still didn't get away. What constitutes <laughs> that? <laughs> listen, let's... Huh. It's a tough question. Okay, let me ask but you. But it, it depends on what both parties have in mind. Yeah, okay, but so you have to establish so with her this is a date. No, you don't have to establish that it is a date. If so, because you're you're saying both parties, right? Mm-hmm. That means everyone in that in disagreement has to have an opinion of what is a date, and then come to a compromise of what is going on, basically. Like, why are you going out, basically? So now. On your side, it before the compromise, mm-hmm. what do you, would you classify as a reason to go out and call it a date? So if I were to take a beautiful <coughs> young so, lady yeah. on a date, preferably Nubian, yeah. African. Yeah. If yeah. I were to take one of those women out on a date, mm-hmm. it would have to be something, you know, pre-planned. You know, we talk about it before. Okay. We dress the part. So what if you pre-planned whoa, 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 whoa. for a cab? I would never do that. So what exactly. So what, what? What would you classify as a date? Yes, it's something pre-planned. Like I said, you want to dress the part, right? You want to. If you, if you are you going to stop there? I don't know. We're going to keep okay. going. Okay. Carry There's on. certain criteria <coughs> that meets a date for me. For me, right? You know, this is going to be a clip, right? You know, fuck that. <laughs> <laughs> <Hey. laughs> Put the pressure on me. <clears throat> but um. I have to think about it a little more, but I'd say that those are the the big two steps. Is like okay, like you bro know, like, has okay. not even answered the question. You have not a whole lot because what, what you said because what you said you can pre plan cab You know cut. what it is? You guys have spent too much time getting on his ass. That <laughs> <laughs> my tricks aren't working. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. Nigga, I think a date, at least for me, is either a planned activity. Uh, or an outing, or something you guys just agreed to do together. Okay, at least for me. I saw this on someone's story the other day. She said, "You can't ask me to go on a walk. That's not a date. That's me catching fresh air." But <laughs> nigga, uh, that that's fair. That's fair. But let's get some context. Like, where is the walk? No, I'm I'm, ask, I'm asking. So how nigga, like, how walk, do you feel the, now? There could be a stroll down the street of yeah. fucking Higgins and Maine. <laughs> or, nigga, I could take you to like Palm Springs mm. and we'd go on a walk down there. Something I would do. Oh, okay. <laughs> so, okay. nigga, I don't know. I just feel like there's different scenarios where different information is important. But, so, because I, I remember I was going back and forth with Shayda on the pod because I was saying if I'm going to link up with a girl, I like driving around, just like yeah. driving around the city, either like exploring. And she was saying that's not a date. 
She's lying to herself, don't worry. I'm saying, like, nigga, gas is expensive, nigga. <laughs> that shit is expensive. No, nah, oh, she not. Fuck. See, I don't know. I was shocked about the walk thing. I just think it might just be a thing where a guy she didn't like was asking her out, let's go on a walk. And then in order to, you know what girls do now? In order to push away the ones that are weak, (laughs) they'll post something crazy on the story. So these dates you be going on, right? Do you like plan on taking them serious after? After? Yeah, afterwards. Do you plan on taking them serious? It's all situational. It all depends on how the date went. True. So I can't okay. always say that I plan on taking the girl serious after, but I can't also not say that I don't plan on taking her serious. So do you have like a certain formula like to figure that out? Do you have them like open up and t- uh, like talk about themselves and stuff? Uh, like my formula to see if I want to take her serious. So like, obviously you want to know more about the person. Well, honestly, I just pay attention to everything she's doing. Mannerisms, characteristics, bro. Like, What about uh, what she's saying? Yeah, yeah, we'll talk about this on the way here. Yeah, bro, I like, pay attention to everything, man. Hmm. And I'm so sorry, you, bro, but so you, I there's a lot of things that can immediately that can immediately disqualify a girl. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of things, bro. You, you say you so you say you can spot um, someone you take serious from first impressions. Yeah, because so, last time. Oh yes. <laughs> <laughs> when was the last, last time, time you me. were saying that? How can she? Take me serious when she doesn't even know me. When she doesn't even know me? Mm. And that's when you get into the point where you ask, what do you mean by that? Yeah, well, you just... And we can other, get farther well, into you the communication. It. You flipped it there because you said you Because can... the scenes... Because the roles have been flipped. <laughs> now where I'm intrigued by her, she's not intrigued by me. So... No, you're, 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 actually, you're, yeah. Yeah, keep going. <laughs> you're not making sense. You're not making sense. Because you're saying on your side, you can okay. spot, a, like, you can walk into a room and from the way a girl moves, you can say, I could possibly, not saying that you're going to take so a So are we talking about, like, I took her out on a date or I just saw her? I'm Because we're talking about if that's I why took her I out on a date. That's why I first impressions. Okay. Right, first impressions. So is, is the first impressions, are you saying is on a date? Yeah. So on a date, first impressions, can you tell this is someone you can take serious? Yes. So if a girl goes on the first date with you and tells you that, okay, cool, I'm going to take you serious, mm-hmm. are you still going to be shocked? Am I going to be shocked? Yeah. Most definitely. Why? Because that's just not something you do after the first date. You want to get to, like, obviously first impressions is important, but if you're cuffing somebody off first impressions, you're kind of foolish. Oh, nah, she's and the relationship's just <laughs> destined to fail because she, you need to get to know somebody deeply. She's not cuffing you, but... Mm-hmm. She feels she's like she can you, take you she's serious. She's letting me know of her intentions. Exactly. Okay. So, so what do you want me to answer? Like, if I'm I think that's crazy? Is, yeah. Is it still crazy? Because if you're doing it, why mm-hmm. can't she do it? I think it's all situational, but I think there could be some scenarios where it's not crazy. Okay. Yeah. okay. That's fair. Saying. You did it, bro. Yeah, so I saw an episode right. where you were saying... <laughs> 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 it's not over. I saw an episode where you were saying... Damn, it just it just slipped my mind. You're so lucky, bro. Yo, nigga. <laughs> Trying to find it now, you brave. Okay, so what's the qualities you look for? And I'm 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 looking into my dark skin, bro. The real love. You say light skin? Dark skin, dark skin. He's, he's I was about to fuck. say, bro. Um, <laughs> so what are some of these first impressions that would make you want to cuff a girl? Oh, um, definitely be like genuine and caring. Like, genuine and caring. Like, let's say, like, I don't know how to. I don't know. I don't want to get like, like too specific, but can you explain like how a girl could be genuine? Like, just be like, I I don't like the whole like girls trying to play these mind games of like trying to Loki be bougie or True. like trying to do too much or like trying to play this game of like how to play me into liking her. Like, be yourself, and then we go. But there's ways to do that, girls. There's a way you can play these guys. Don't listen yeah. to this nigga, bro. Yo, this niggas are so easy. <laughs> There's a way some run niggas, bro. Like, yo. I'm bro. Girls already know, bro. Yo, I can't lie. Every girl I'm friends with, I told them like, yo, you can be finessing these niggas. Like, bro. get your bag up. Yes. Like, yo, start getting. There's not only not only can you finesse these niggas, you can run niggas like a game type you shit. Can like, run their pockets. You can run niggas. 
You be putting I'm sorry, but target the fobs. The fobs that moved <laughs> to the city, you know, nigga, they will fund your life. Yo, we're not supposed to say this out loud, bro. <laughs> Yo, <laughs> do, do you know? Do you know the funny thing is, with the with the fo- there's there's two ways to look at it, right? Because I've heard I've had a lot of girls and heard a lot of girls complain of how the fobs treat them, right? So why you no? As in like the fobs, okay? Because they know you're treating them like a transaction, they start to treat you like a transaction. Uh-huh. That's fair. So. That, bro, girls can't take what they give. So in a sense, she's losing respect for you. Oh, he, no, yeah, no, 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 as in no, like, no, no, as in no. like the, the fob is, like they they're saying that they're saying that a lot of the fobs <laughs> that they go for, or like with the intention of like let's say yeah. like now I'm trying to run him, because the fob now understands that okay cool you're gonna treat me like a trans- transaction okay yeah. cool, I will give you money but you have to give me something else they don't um, like that yeah that's true I think that's why that's one of the problems they have with actually giving into that transactional because right? they don't understand that when they act in a certain way. It is transactional, so when he now acts in the same way, it's also transactional. That's the that's that's one that's one thing that a lot of girls don't think about, or yeah, a lot true. of guys when we say like, "Oh, run these guys," because yeah. they're smart. They're not dumb. They're not, not that dumb, bro. Yeah. But we were saying like, like if we were girls, the way we'd like finesse these guys, like yeah. we were saying like. If but we only me, say that because we are because we are guys and we know how guys can be finessed. We, a lot of girls don't know. Bro, this. girls know, bro. Nah, some of you them think are all stupid. Them? Bro. Not all girls know, but <laughs> we were like, like I was, I was telling my female friend, I was like, yo, give me your Instagram, give me your Instagram for one week, see how much money I can make off that shit. <laughs> <laughs> just the Instagram. I don't need nothing. Just trying I don't need to no make a, a business. I just oh, need to start talking, bands, bro. Nigga. Like, yo, have you have you had have you heard of uh, Taz's Angels? No, I haven't heard of him. Well, forget about Taz Angel, Playboys. I'm pretty yeah. sure that guy was selling some of his girls, bro. Oh, uh, Hugh Hefner? Yeah, yeah. even, um, what's this yeah, other yeah. guy? Uh, Dan Bilzerian. Yeah. yeah. And he, nigga, did you know he was fucking all of them? <laughs> they always oh, did. That yeah. nigga was fucking, what, like 70? <laughs> nigga was still it? fucking all of them. 70? Oh, Hugh Hefner? Hefner? Yeah, Hugh Hefner. Yeah. Oh. Did old. you guys hear about uh, Andrew Tate getting arrested? Yeah. 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 Isaac said he was his hero, and he was sad about that, but <laughs> to be honest, I don't agree with the stuff he was saying. You don't actually agree with anything he says? We're not doing this. I know what you're trying to do. What? No, but also... I no, no, like, of course, of course, there's some there's some stuff that's agreeable, but the stuff he says about women. Do you agree? It's not about it being agreeable. Stuff he says about women okay, is, is not so, agreeable. Okay, so, nigga, I'm going I'm to attack you like they attack the girls on the media. Whoa. What stuff he says about women? Um, Say stuff like... He's actually said like women are property. It's probably it's not a it's not okay. A well, place. that's kind of out of context. He said no, 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 that no. when you marry a girl, she is your property. Well, she really isn't. How so? Actually, I want you to explain how a girl is a property. <laughs> no, no, I'm not saying I'm not saying I agree with him. I was just giving context to what he said. What now is I'm the context? You, what is the context that makes that acceptable? Because you just made it sound like oh, women in general are our property. But he was saying. In a scenario where you are married to even a that, girl, I disagree. She is not your problem. Yeah, okay, that's, now that's, tell me why you disagree. That's why I'm asking. Because even when you marry a woman, she's yeah. still de- she's still not your property, right? She still mm-hmm. has her own autonomy. You know, okay, her own free will. Yeah. That's fair. But yeah, there's there's a few things that I disagree with. But um, he got arrested for um, trafficking. sex trafficking. It was yeah. human trafficking, uh, rape, rape, and, and like, money laundering. Yeah. But the funny thing is that he's actually been arrested for all of that. Good I think uh, what was that year prior? April. Was it was it April? And he was ex- he was exonerated of all charges. Yeah, he didn't but, even get charged of anything. Like, yeah, he just, they, they, they all just got dropped because of a lack of evidence. Yeah, uh, they, they, I don't know. With, with the police, they can they can arrest you. Yeah. Without having anything, he they said just need to Ro- prove something. Yeah. To so I was watching India. this video. They said in <clears> Romania, <throat> the way it differs from the states is in the states you need to build up evidence. And a case before you can actually like federally indict yeah, someone yeah. or bring up charges or like raid their house. He said, and and then the person was explaining in Romania, you don't need all that. They said you can, you can raid that person's house and you can give them charges, and then you can try and find the, yeah. uh, you can try and find the evidence. But he I said, essentially that's what they think they've done, and it's not looking good for him. I can't lie. Yeah, I heard about a bunch of girls coming forward. Not even stuff. yeah, the girls, but he was like self snitching like. 
<laughs> it didn't even sound like when we were all watching because he was saying a bunch of wild shit they were like ah whatever yeah. like the way he did, he was describing it and I, I don't want to like it might be out of context so I advise whoever's watching or you guys if you want to look that shit up mm-hmm. but he was like yeah so I would like get these girls like I know you guys have heard the story of how he started his webcam business yeah, yeah. but he sort of self snitched in that like he was like yeah I, I get these girls I get them to fall in love with me um I bring them to Romania, right? I get them to do that. It's like, uh, it's like whatever. Is he paying I, them though? Yeah, he's paying. Yeah. He's paying them, and he's like, yeah, I take. They they get thirty percent. I get seventy percent. I tell them it's fifty fifty, but I have to pay taxes. But well, we don't pay taxes in Romania, right? And he's like, I I have them sign like a tax form and everything, like so they think like thirty percent of their like. There's no way 20. he said all of that. Yeah, he said he said all of it like was on it, was camera. Was this like when he's like. Before, talking, like, talking before to he was, like, famous? his yeah. fans. Okay. Yeah, in one thing. of those videos, he'd be sitting oh, on like a leather chair with a black shirt idiot. and the sunglasses, and he start talking shit. So, yeah, he was like, "Yeah, I take, I take the money, da da da," and then, like, even that on its own, I don't know if you can, you can actually, you can probably arrest someone on there, but I don't know if that's actually evidence, except they actually find records of him taking yeah. money from yeah, them. Yeah, yeah, because like, it's all hearsay, right? Yeah, exactly. Like he could just be saying all that stuff for YouTube just to be like funny and stuff but it doesn't look good like okay but he's you, also rich so there's that what do you think of the whole thing of like people are like it's the matrix trying to get him and like they're idiots like, <laughs> well, like, like part, part of it makes sense if he wasn't saying all this rubbish no no yeah. he was <laughs> because, <laughs> because like the thing is like because because the because he, the problem is that because he doesn't post a lot of his clips yeah he's got viral of other people yeah so canceling him you can't cancel someone that doesn't post yeah so if you shut down his own media <laughs> everyone else is it's, it's yeah. yeah exactly so mm-hmm. when people are saying the matrix are out to get him it's more so they need to get a reason for his videos to be banned so by publicly humiliating him mm-hmm. then they can find a re- find a way to cancel him on the internet but then, now that this is looking real, it's not looking good for the geezer, bro. Yeah, yeah, it's not looking good. So, Michael, <laughs> yeah, it's not- and I, I don't mean to sound like a conspiracy theorist, but so you think there's no chance of a high group of elitists that are kind of running the, th- are that are kind of running things behind the scenes? What is he doing? Like people are I, saying, I'm not saying regarding to him. I'm just saying, like, do you think that's a possibility that are running things? Yes. Maybe. Mm. I you can never know. But yeah, that's a possibility. Saying. But the thing is, like, like people are saying the dumbest reasons for it, like, oh, the Matrix or the elites are coming after him because he's making men more masculine. Nigga, is but like, who is that? It's literally just average? because the nigga said the Matrix sent their agents. Yeah, he sent a tweet, and now, bro, Andrew Tate followers. That's one thing I'll say. They're very, very, very nice. Say it. Say it. Yeah, 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 so I was about to say it. I didn't say it, bro. Like, say like average, just, Andrew Tate fan. They're very stupid. But think about it. His fans are like 13, like 13, 14 year old kids who are yeah. like get bullied in school and like girls don't really like yeah. them and they're like, yeah. oh, girls don't like listen to this guy. Fuck women, da da da. He you targets boss, guys that like, are bro. insecure, that are at the bottom of the barrel. No, like, there's yeah. guys that are like, you like don't fit that like archetype that are his fans. Like, yeah, that's I true. know people like that. But that's the, you? Me? No, I'm not an agitated fan. Oh, he's kind of funny though. He's pretty funny. He's a funny caricature. Like, yeah, he's funny. And but I like, can't, I can't obviously say that everything the guy says is nonsense because you know, empowering, like, uh, taking away the negative stigma from masculinity and yeah. just yeah. Uh, what he says about like being the best version of yourself, getting in the gym, like obviously stuff like that. That's all st- shit I agree with. So yeah, that's what's up. So say. I can't say everything he says is nonsense, but a lot of the stuff he says, I'll just be like, Nah, I don't. He's think, funny I don't to be think, honest. <laughs> I think <laughs> what he says is nonsense. Is that he says a lot of sense, and then bombards it with a lot of rubbish on yeah. purpose. Though that, it seems yeah. like it's on purpose. Oh, oh, he does it on purpose. No, like exactly. he, says, he does it on purpose for the sake up. of social media. Yeah, yeah. Right. I was talking to someone the other day about like I told him, oh, I did a podcast. Oh, let me check check it out. And we we're just talking, and he was he was saying something like he was like, oh, you should try because I was saying for us, we we the way we structure our guests per se are people that we know, right? We're not, I'm not just gonna get any random person just because they have a big following. People, you know, because we actually have to, we want to have a um, constructive conversation, blah, blah, blah. 
and then occasionally we would bring polarizing people right mm-hmm. and then he was explaining that oh you should because obviously social media that's how you blow. i was like i don't want to blow off that i don't want to blow off just like polarizing opinions only because there are certain episodes where we brought certain people for that and it's worked do you get what i'm saying mm-hmm. but then at the same time we still just want to have normal conversations with people that we know and people that we understand do you get what i'm saying so the internet is like it needs that polarizing hitting the sensitive to like get attention and all of that and that's the sad part about it because in order to make money on social media you need to have a lot of following for the most part Mm -hmm. and then in in order to get that uh, that um, following or interaction you need to do things that are extremely wild if you want quick success right you can always have success by just being consistent and being good at what you do but if you want quick success you need to be yeah <laughs> dishing some out shit. some wild yeah. stuff you know okay. let's peak let's peak Long yeah man. but you also have to be like i don't want to say if you want to sustain it you you have to be some sort of some sort of a likable character like you can't just like someone just can't come on on the internet and just scream the n word in your white like sixty times and blow up. <laughs> you're not going anywhere. If you if you if you if you hate a lot of fan base in in the red tech society, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. bro. I mean, no, like, I still don't. Yeah, think. it's knowing your audience and knowing who you're trying to target. Yeah. So yeah, Andrew Tate definitely executed with that. Yeah, he was brilliant. I, yeah, <laughs> I think like yeah, he might run in jail. He was like a. Genius. He might because he just got he might. kids from uh, what's that Hustlers University? Yeah, to like, like post his clips. Videos. Yeah. It was on my for you page like everyone. Yeah, eight out of ten times. Me, bro. Like there's just so much misinformation on the internet. Like bro, remember when he first got arrested? The amount of people that were saying, "Oh, he's been released. Oh, the charges have been dropped. Oh, this has happened. This has happened." Then I figured out none of that was literally true. He's literally still in jail. Oh, when he he's first, being, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. When he's he being detained for thirty days, mm. yeah. bro. It's not just human trafficking. It's money laundering. It's rape. And now I'm hearing that a bunch of women have come forward, but I don't yeah, even know if women. that's I've, true. I've heard like the opposite, where like bro, they interview so his much. like they interview his neighbors, and they're like the neighbors that he had like the apparent like mm-hmm. trafficking at. He was but, like the women came in and out, and they look fine. The and people, da, da, da. yeah, but we say oh, there's so much misinformation on the internet, but how we get our information is from TikTok and YouTube. Like, sure. we're not actually, <laughs> like, like, do we really not expect actually. to find anything? See, nigga, I was searching it up. I was actually searching up. I was like, Andrew Tate charges and bro, I could not find any, like, it was just like TMZ, fucking, yeah, it was yeah, it's, it's like, gonna I be hard. I could find like, the Romania, like, yeah, bro, police like, service yeah. charges. I couldn't find that. I don't know, but as you said, a lot of it is, yeah, I mean, if it was America, you can understand why you wouldn't be able to find anything because they need yeah, to find a exactly, lot before yeah. mm-hmm. they they kind of get to him. But then even I don't know. The thing with him is it's it 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 it, it looks very possible. It does, yeah. and also it looks very impossible. Too. Yeah, because yeah, the amount of money that he gets, bro. That so, like, remember, just we, makes we, no sense. Remember that episode that we, we were like in order to be rich or do well in business you need to kind of get rid of some of your ethics bro yeah, yeah. <laughs> you gotta do some dirty shit sweep yeah. some of it under well, the it just rug, doesn't bro. make sense because nigga with his investments and all the money he was making doesn't make sense and you're the most popular this figure is prior in social okay oh so yeah. they're saying this is prior not this is something prior that's yeah, because, like, because yeah, no, no, he could have got a little bit oh, of money they're saying it's based off okay, okay that's based sense. off like the last like i think six years yeah, because okay. he's he got stopped. some money which he's now used to invest. That, yeah, that's how he got big. Like yeah, he, yeah, he says it like I like I got my start doing this webcam stuff, so he doesn't do that webcam oh, yeah. stuff anymore. And the thing is, people actually like they <laughs> they know that it's like sex trafficking, or at least that's what it sounds like. But they're like, is it really that big of a deal? Because when someone's like, oh, you're a sex trafficker. The, like what comes in your mind is like you got like girls on fucking chains, arm and, and, and feet just <laughs> walking. Yo, yo, like, yo, yeah. yo, we have a new client, bro. Yo, yeah. the Epstein's, yo, like type stuff. So <laughs> the Clintons. So that's why the way it sounds like the way he's describing it. Even though it is sex trafficking, he's like, oh yeah, I, I make these girls like they've never actually done anything like sex work related. Like I fly them over. 
I have 75 girls, da da da. Like, it sounds <laughs> <laughs> No, but sex, that's the thing. A lot of these charges, there's a, they're a big umbrella. Exactly, yeah. They cover a lot of different things. So, even like sexual harassment can cover all the way from rape to speaking to someone in a certain way. Yeah. Do you get what I'm saying? So it's the same with the sex trafficking. Like obviously people think of extremes, mm-hmm. but even the example you're giving us, you're shipping girls to come and do what for money, and then you're not taking a percentage. Like, that already is he's lying screaming. To yeah, <laughs> he's screaming something suspect, bro. Yeah, <laughs> but he he he's told that story so many times that no one actually cared. Like yeah. he said that story a lot. Yeah, because I think one thing that he's good at is saying things in a way where you can miss it out. Literally you can be listening to him. And miss out what he's actually trying to say. Yeah. So it could be just one of the things where he literally he says it in a very normal way. Literally. Like, and then people just don't then see the, the like how bad it is essentially. I was watching a video. Uh, what's it called on YouTube? Do you know you know that girl that everyone calls her female Andrew Tate? There's just like pearly Pearl, things. Pearly or something. Oh, she an dated angry reacts. Yeah, she yeah. Did? Yeah, yeah she you know did. the big guy that's yeah. always yelling? God. So she basically, uh, she took on a bunch of feminists and she was just trying to argue that the mm-hmm. feminist movement is dead. Uh-huh. And she was just saying that it's been uh, a, like a negative con- uh, connotation has been taken from it and it's not actually used for its main. Oh, for, yeah. yeah. Do you agree with that? Yes. <clears throat> Honestly, I don't. Bro, I don't. I can't even name a feminist. I don't know any feminists. But no, know. Do, do, feminist. you know the, the, do you know the fact? Yeah, because you you follow the actual like nigga. You believe men have men uh, and women deserve equality in all things. Are you a feminist? Yes, of course. But I'm saying what feminism has turned into. Yeah, but do you know the funny mm-hmm. thing is? I think what has been done over time is since social media, a lot of movements have been painted in the bad light. Mm-hmm. True. Because. Remember, there was also a time where they were saying they were equating Muslims to terrorists. Yeah, that's true. There, were, there was also a time where they were also equating Christians in Africa as terrorists. Yeah. Whereas those are all extremists. Yeah. Right? So I think that that's what's happening now. Like, we've moved on from the religion. Now yeah. we're moving on to, like... But the thing is, the it's just, like, movement. the extremists are the ones that are doing... All the talking, in main, yeah, are in like the main like site of like, yeah. But I mean, it's the same with yeah. the terrorists when yeah. when they're yeah. bombing places, yeah, they're and the then they're public, saying yeah. Muslim sayings or Christian sayings. Mm-hmm. They're saying this is the reason I'm doing it. You're essentially dragging that other entity yeah. into the same position as what you're doing and trying to make it look the same. Honestly, if so I'm gonna be honest, as well. I'm gonna say I'm not a traditional feminist because I do not believe. And equality between guys and girls. What? Just for the you don't s- just for the fact that you. I think you have to accept that guys and girls are different. So I would more so aim for something called like equity, and that stems more for like fairness. Wait, you can't be like equality is like nigga giving them all the same opportunities, but nigga, there's some there's certain oh, opportunities right. that guys could like uh, what's it called. I don't know what the word is to use, but mm. you could like um, so excel what, in more. What so I believe in is, equity. No, but you don't you believe be in the same opportunities for men and women. I think that there's certain opportunities you need to put in place that will allow women to excel more in. Because if you just give them equal opportunity, I believe that there's some industries that men can dominate in. So that's why you need to rely on something called equity, which would be fairness and rely on like making quotas to make certain things more fair for women to be able to get into different fields and stuff like that. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah what you're saying is that we, it's not that women can't do what men do, it's that women can't do what men do. By that, I mean... I just figured They, they can do it. Yeah. But the majority of them, their abilities aren't the same as our abilities. Yeah. So they can't actually do exactly what we do because we're not the same people. It's yeah. the same. Yeah. We can't do what they do. Do you get what I'm saying? If she gives birth and then she says, okay, cool, I'm off to work, you need to look after the child. Yeah. <laughs> what That's happens then? <laughs> You're going to be kicking kicking the child like a fool, bro. <laughs> like, I just know this with like, all these podcasters. Like, bro, all they do is just argue shit. They just argue shit that can't be measured. Like, nigga, they'll, they'll, sp- they'll bring on a bunch of like dumb girls that do OnlyFans and they'll be like, 
oh, tell me that girls have it harder than guys. They don't. And then they'll be uh, like, oh, women are bailed out of everything. If a woman wa doesn't want a child, she can have abortion. Uh, women have certain quotas to get jobs that men don't have. Damn. Stuff like women get certain government funding. You know all and this stuff, huh? You yeah, I, about this, I, no, no, I watched the video and they explained it. The, 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 the funny thing is that because of the way the internet is structured and the way technology is structured, a high number, there's no... Um, there's no quality to that high number. A high number is a high number. If I have 100k views, I have 100k views, right? It, do, it doesn't matter if people are just watching to see what rubbish is being said, yeah. or people are watching to be invested in what you're saying, or people are watching to agree with what you're saying. So because of that, we're now having a lot of, as you said, a lot of these guys that are just putting themselves in certain scenarios where it can garner attention to get them to this um, requirement of success or requirement of um, being popular mm -hmm. or garnering that attention. So you're having podcasts that are bringing on stupid girls. Yeah. They'll bring on, let's say, 500, maybe 1,000 stupid girls. And then they'll have conversations like this with them. The girls are obviously going to be stupid. Yeah. And then because they've had 100% of stupid girls on their podcast, they're not going to say, I've talked to thousands of girls yeah. and all the girls. Oh, yeah. That's what Fresh and Fit loves saying, bro. Niggas yeah, like, I've no. talked to over a thousand women. Yeah. He's like, and they all think the same. Yeah, and because, honestly, yeah. like, nigga, he's right. But, nigga, you're bringing on a thousand of the same women. Yeah. <laughs> like, bro, right. they're all carbon copies of each other. But it was, yeah, it was just interesting watching because you never actually get to see these people, like, uh, in engage with like actual educated people so but you know was, why because mm -hmm. they don't want to put themselves in that scenario yeah and even when they do they shut off immediately yeah if you like i was watching um one of the myron actually no both of them myron and the other guy they've fresh. been on this no, other no girl's his name bro fresh huh? <laughs> what's his actual name something oh, no. i don't know anyway both of them have been on this girl this girl uh cheyenne reynolds i think she does a, like, <laughs> you see, yeah, yeah it's a grilling. <laughs> you know the the grilling, the girl that that uh, the oh, life Oh, yeah, I watched that, yeah, yeah. The, <laughs> yeah. On the, and the my room one was funny. The my room yeah, one was funny. like you guys, like, like she's saying something. He's immediately just spitting out facts, spitting not out. even letting her. He's yeah. How are you meant to have a conversation with someone that doesn't want to have a conversation? That's that's the thing. That's and then they'll leave that podcast. They'll watch it back and say, see how she couldn't say yeah. anything. They, she'll talk to you and be like, 50% of women, da, da, da. Like, yeah. bro. Yeah, he's, just, he's just info <laughs> dumping and doing all Exactly. Like, so that, that's the thing. They're never going to put themselves in a position where they talk to someone with sense. Because think about it. The only reason they've probably gone on there is because they're probably having a promo tour. And in that promo tour, they need to go on someone who's popping yeah. on their show. Yeah. They would never... in Like, how many times they chat shit about on, on their show? Do you know what I'm saying? Now they're on her show. They're mm. not her. They're not here to have a conversation. They're here to what garner more views. Yeah, yeah. See, know, nigga, views. what I've noticed in Fresh and Fit is like when they have girls on their podcast, at least, nigga, bro, everything they're doing, everything they're saying, all their mannerisms, all the shit they're doing when they're pressing the buttons, calling them stupid. They're literally just trying to get the girls triggered yep. to prove their point that yep. girls can't handle certain things or can't handle certain conversations. Yeah. But nigga, it's literally just because they're tr they're actively trying to get. The it's triggered. so childish. There's no it's way they'll so be like childish. That. They, would, they would lose their cool if they're on like a girls. Yeah, podcast. so nigga, he can tell them to shut up. He can interrupt them, but the minute they do any of that back, you're out of there. Yeah. He's, um, nigga, he's to just be trying fair to make them though, mad. to be mm -hmm. fair, he doesn't really interrupt like the That's guests true. on there. Yeah. But he'll get pretty but disrespectful. He'll get super disrespectful. And then he does not like it when they do it back. And you know, the funny thing is, I bet if you watch some of their first few episodes, they aren't as um, as arrogant or they don't have as much bravado as they do now. Mm -hmm. yeah. Right. And even now that you're looking at them, the only reason now they have bravado is because they've proven themselves correct by a method that does not give you any sense of what you're correct about. So for them, they've proven themselves correct by so many guys agree with me and these girls are wrong. They've proven themselves by, by saying the internet says in order to be successful correcting what you're doing, 
you need to garner this amount of attention. So because they've got this amount of attention, they don't even understand that the way they've gotten that is not even through people. A hundred percent of the people that are following them are not following them to be to agree with you. Most of them are probably following me because this is funny to watch. Yeah. Mm. So now they're sitting there seeing all these numbers and they're like, Yeah, people agree with us, so I'm gonna continue yeah. doing what I'm doing. Yeah. Do you get what I'm saying? It's it you're just affirming like this just, yeah, because yeah, yeah that, that's actually facts. Because I noticed they actually think all the views they're getting is like people supporting what they're doing. Yeah, but nigga, I was watching that shit during my shifts at shot because I was bored. It's not because I was fucking agreeing with them, nigga. <laughs> they're fucking entertaining. And, and bro, I, money, money, money makes you. Money can make you think outside of what is real. If so, if you for example, if let's say they have a hundred k followers, yeah, and ten k followers are giving them five k, right, or even one k followers are giving them five dollars each, and they keep on pressing that five dollar button, giving them money, they're gonna make a, a shitload of money, mm-hmm. but only one percent of their following actually agree with what they're saying. Now, because they're making a lot of money, they don't, they can't understand that. This money I'm making has nothing to do with the shit I'm saying in terms yeah. of how valid it is. Do you know? So, bro, like that's that's why like anytime like people get mad at this whole fresh and fit red pill, I, yeah, it's just the way of the internet. They found a way to make money. They're making a lot of money, mm-hmm. but doesn't mean they even understand why they're making a lot. Or they could, yeah. and they like for example with Andrew Tate, uh, Kevin Samuels, they could understand the mechanisms of the internet and just be pushing on that mechanism to make them richer mm-hmm. yeah. a, lot people don't realize that, a lot of people don't realize that like they're feeding into what they hate like yeah, they see something true. they don't like they're like oh da 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 and then they post a new episode they start yeah. watching it just to leave hate comments they're yeah. pushing their narrative further and like bro because that comment is giving them engagement how many exactly. times have we said we don't care if people hate us on the yeah. on the comment as long as you're giving us engagement bro, <laughs> You know the last time I read comments? <laughs> Maybe like five months ago. Uh, be, I read comments Rick? just to reply, yeah, bro. Like, I don't read any of that shit. <laughs> they be banking on them comments, bro. Mm, yeah, nigga. You read that <laughs> see, the thing is, I'm they, think, they, they think that I be seeing that shit. Nigga, I don't see it. <laughs> <laughs> if you read the comments, who do they come for the most? Because I don't read that stuff. I think they really come... They're, they'll either come for all of us, or they'll just say something very random. Like, the people From that actually come Therese for told me it's me and you. Yeah, yeah. So they they only pick like for example the ones that actually come for us they'll say something like something about our physical or they'll say something very very vague like what you're saying is stupid. This and guy then, say nonsense. Yeah. Oh yeah, I've, I've seen that one, <laughs> bro. I'm just like okay. So uh, so I I reply to every single one. If they say what's not, I'll reply, and then they don't say anything back. Do <laughs> <laughs> y'all niggas? So another thing that uh, what's it called? Like I've heard Andrew Tate express or Fresh and Fit express is that toxic masculinity is not a thing. Do anyone do you have any do you have any words on that? I think that's something to. I think that's something for the internet and not what they actually believe. Yeah. Okay. Because they were just basically explaining that the way society is, it kind of frowns on masculinity now. It makes it seem as like puts it in like a negative limelight. And that is not something that should be uh, portrayed as men. And they're just essentially trying to say that guy that the society's trying to get guys to act more feminine. I think it depends on because everyone or a lot of different people have different definitions for what, what toxic masculinity is. Yeah. So I'm trying to think of examples mm-hmm. off the top of my head, but like like not being able to express your emotions because okay. you're a man is probably a toxic trait. Yeah, um, I think that's a deeper trait, though. Like, see, it's, like it's, my my it seems like it's tied to at your least my at least my uh, what's it called opinion. My understanding uh, of this is, uh, or my opinion. Sorry. So it, obviously, like with my dad or something, anytime we had like something like that, our family was going through and it was like really bad. My dad would not show us that he was scared. He would not show us that he was sad, and we'd all look to him. But I'm saying, like, if you have somebody close to you that you can share your emotions with, you can share your feelings with, but as long as, like, 
if you're the head of your of your household or the head of your family, I don't think you I don't think you can afford to be breaking down. I don't think you can afford to be showing your emotions like that. Do you what? think if you do? The, oh, go ahead. No, 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 kind of. I was just gonna say, do you think if you do like, I don't want to use your dad as an example. Mm-hmm. Do you think if you do do that, do you think or show your emotions or break down when something big happens? Do you think it's the job of not the kids but like your partner to actually? sit there and like console you and, and console you yeah i definitely think it is but nigga me being a kid if i saw my dad break down nigga i'd be stressed out as fuck yeah man. but you be, i would be crying but too. the thing is what you don't understand what you yeah. don't understand is how I, I, that no nah, i want to use your, your nigga, you can no. use that nigga i was gonna say he probably does but just not in yeah. front of you yeah that's what i'm no. saying so if you have someone that's close to you but yeah. breaking down to multiple people and being vulnerable with multiple people i just don't think you can afford to do that as a man now the thing is, i don't think the, the breaking down to multiple people is where because okay there's two things right yeah what your dad if your dad is to cry in that yeah. scenario, or even as he's holding his emotions in for the sake of the family, mm. that is not toxic masculinity. That's okay. not toxic. Yeah, that's not, yeah. What's okay. happened is that the message that's being pushed now is that that is toxic. Only to further the narrative of this whole men's health or men's mental health. Because yeah. what they're trying, they need a reason for you to talk. But the yeah. problem is when we're talking, you're not even prepared to listen most of the time. Do you get what I'm saying? Mm. So now, because now a lot of guys, are not, there's this narrative of, look, you can talk, we encourage you to talk. A lot of guys know there's no platform for us to really talk. Right. So we're going to still keep things. But then, because we're still keeping things, they're now making it seem as though, oh, we've given them a chance. Now they're doing it on purpose. So therefore, this must be toxic. Yeah. Right? yeah. That's, that's what's being pushed now. Now onto the Andrew Tate thing. That's another example of me saying um, they say a lot of sense and then just cover it with a lot of nonsense. Yeah. Yeah. So their explanation is the sense. But in order to garner the views, they need to tell you toxic masculinity doesn't exist. Because yeah. as soon as you see that, you're already interested in what yeah, they have to say. That's true. Do you know what I'm saying? So that, mm-hmm. those, that's my two rebuttals to that. Yeah, yeah but there, the, the thing is, it does, obviously it does exist. There are men that like think that way like, I can't like show emotions yeah. period mm-hmm. or like anything remotely affectionate is gay type yeah. of stuff. <laughs> yo, like, that's a, yo, that's yeah, a big you, one. Like yeah. people mm-hmm. like as guys and girls be like, I've seen girls on the internet be like, yo, why does my man like being friend like being around his friends? I'm like, girls be they perpetuating don't, that shit. Bro, they, hard, don't, bro. they don't understand like girls feed into toxic masculinity a lot. Exactly. They feed into yo. everything, everything like feminism talks about, like patriarchy, toxic masculinity, girls reinforce that shit. They are hard. a large so I, I they are think, a large reason on why niggas act this way. Yes. I, don't, I don't think feminism in like has anything to do with patriarchy? I think that's the extremists because they've they've made us feel as though those are two in the same. Whereas yeah, I don't think I don't think they are because yeah. I, I don't think the feminist movement care too much about the patriarchy. They care about uplifting women. That's what, how I see the feminist. I think the thing is the the like the traditional or the original feminists did care about patriarchy, but they saw the way that quote unquote you could call it whatever you want. Mm quote unquote patriarchy affects men and women. So yeah. like like I said, like the affectionate stuff, like not being because it's it actually seems like women are I, I don't I don't know how to I don't know if this is true, but it seems like women or are, are better friends in a sense. Like okay. how that, they're better friends to each other. How, how they're not trust yeah. me, women say okay, it. let me let me not say something. <laughs> But from the experience of that, I've had with being friends with other women, no, and the no, way no, they no, yeah. talk yeah. about their other like quote unquote friends, it's yeah. like they're only it's like they're only friends with them for a certain reason or like either like to be closer to other people I who feel they like, think have so status. So you saying that's something that girls commonly do, or are you just trying to say, or like, are you trying to say that that's something guys wouldn't do, or like, what are you trying to say? I think what I'm saying is women try to. Put this idea that like we know how to be friends with our the better than guys but like 
a guy's relationship is so different yeah, that yeah. women don't think of it as a relationship. It's like, going to be different with our generation, though, because I feel like a generation like older than us will not have the same kind of friendship that our generation has. Like, that, right. as guys, mm-hmm. like, like I said, that, that gay shit is really, like, prevalent, especially with black people, like... Yo, bro, like, yo, nigga, don't where, where fucking touch me, nigga. Like, like, <laughs> like, <laughs> like, like you touch it, like, if, yo, yeah, that. So you walk do you, with think, you think that has to do with the black community and society, or do you think that has to do with the fact that, let's just be honest, most black people are religious? Uh, that's part of it, but the black community, especially in the states, or just the black community in general, is very behind on like those social justice justice oh, shit. Most definitely, they're super behind on that stuff. Most definitely, and is it necessarily a bad thing? I don't know. Don't cancel me. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I, don't, I don't think there's anything wrong with it. Um, <laughs> wrong with what? How we're kind of behind. Look, black, <laughs> but the thing is, there's, 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 there's nigga, the I, I'm sorry, I'll be damned before the black community starts doing this fairy shit. Or like, what fairy? Or, shit? What is it called? Furries? furries? Oh, furries. furries. Nigga, Niggas been doing that bro, shit. like getting yeah. litter boxes because somebody okay. identified like a cat. Well, that's not but that's progressive, the thing. bro. That's but, not like. Yeah, a, I don't yeah, think yeah, it's progressive. Yeah. I think like progressive in a sense is just a way people to push new shit at you that like yeah you also, you're not that furry shit, shit is like, like no one yeah, yeah like, that like bro extreme. like I think like just a black community needs to do better with anything like, just with like, healing itself like yeah bro, just like, with like just with like even gay people like. Bro. Gay acceptance is already like so okay. low. It's so like so, widespread, but like in the black community, like nigga. <laughs> okay, I have I have some I have some topics that I was having with my friend, and it kind of gets like controversial. But what's the difference from somebody that wants to be transgender and somebody that wants to be transracial? What's my the difference? Transgender what's the and difference? transracial. My understanding because the person is, was trying to tell me that being transgender is okay, but if you're transracial, that's wrong. I'm like. Who are you to tell them what's wrong? So that, my, that's the same narrative they almost like push. Yeah, because nigga, that's who they they feel like they are the wrong race. Yeah. So who are you, we to tell them you you can't do that? So my understanding with transgender people is there's actually like it's yeah, pretty inconclusive, yeah. but <clears throat> there's like scientific research to show that like there is like a mental of states where you have Ew. what is called gender dysphoria. And yeah. one of the ways, or the best proven way to alleviate that is by actually transitioning. So mm-hmm. there's no like, and this is, and this, there's rec, there's no records of people like, um, of, of the science, but there's records of people identifying as different genders for like, okay. like across time. There's no really records of people identifying as race. Race is more of a, I don't know how to, to explain it. It's more of a, I don't know. Cause, cause, the, see, I, don't know, I just feel like I, everything. I, I don't know going because mm-hmm. even even as you said, there are records, right? How far the records span? It only it'll probably only span as far as when people start to say, "I feel like I'm a different gender." No, this is like, I think in like, like the Greeks. But them niggas were doing everything. This is my point. As in, they've had to. They've had to figure out because when you're looking for something, you're gonna find it. Yeah. All right. When you're looking for it, you're gonna find it. So if you're gonna look for something in the brain or a chemical in the brain or some function in the brain that leads you to believe you can be a different gender, you're gonna find something that will tell yeah. you that. It's the same, bro. You, the same with race. Because I think now that this this thing it's becoming a topic and it's becoming uh, something to solve. You are most likely gonna find something in the brain that tells you I don't feel like I should be Hispanic. Yeah. I don't feel it like is I very should see, see, that's what I'm saying. Almost every argument you can make for why for why you should be able to be transgender is just a double standard can, of why you can be transgender. I can explain yeah. how you can transition from the gender you were assigned at birth to the gender that you want to be. Mm-hmm. But how do you transition um, not only in it appearance? Is. Okay. In your actions, how does a particular race act? Because mm-hmm. there, there is like, this is stereotypical, but there is a, there's femininity, right? Yeah. There's you can transition from not only your appearance but in your actions to being a more, and you can actually tra- transform your hormones yeah. to mimic that, mimic is. is so a, then, so then, what what now makes? So now, what, <laughs> what now makes you black? 
the culture. Um, what and makes isn't, it, isn't that more, if, that's if complicated? We're gonna, if we're gonna say culture, isn't that easier to transform? Then it's like yeah, Eminem. Yeah. Like no, what I'm saying <laughs> is, this is this is this this is Isaac's point. Well, yeah. mm. what the argument is is yeah. that if if we're gonna say that um, if we're gonna say that you can transform or it's easy to tra- we can it's an easy um, process to transform from between genders. We can relate it to also race too, because if you're going to tell us that in order to be a man or in order to be a woman, you need to transform your hormones, mm-hmm. there's also a definition to race too. Yeah. But in that definition to race, because there's a definition for race, you can also transform into a different race. Race, race is Social like we really just started identifying with our races, like okay, not so long ago. There's always been men and women. Like we really just like. In Africa, like, before we got, like, invaded or whatever, like, colonized, colonized there yeah. wasn't, like, black. Like, you are, like, a human being. Yeah, but we yeah. still all live. But we all knew women and women. Men and women, though. Like, we've always been men and women. No, but we've, we've also always been black and white. Yeah, but who we've created that? different colors. Oh, you're like, saying Black and white didn't just... Cause. Huh? You're, yeah, you're of course. Okay. Black and white didn't just... Appear over time. But I well, definitely think they differentiated no, they each other. Like niggas, they even had terms for when the white people came in. They were already differentiating. Yeah, yeah. yeah you even even, dif- even if you look at like Greek times, you can see Greeks and you can see uh, like even the Israelites and the Egyptians. Persians. Yeah, they are two different races. They might be similar skin tones, but then they're two different races. Unless you want to tell me that skin tone is what determines your race, that's 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 now delving into the conversation. So of, I yeah. can change my skin tone. So race is complicated. Different races existed. I've heard you guys. You guys have talked about this with like, would you? Um, you were talking about like East Asian or South Asians or something. Not South Asians. Like Indians. Would you classify them as Asian? Yeah. Or like I remember it was like one of your earlier episodes, but race is like infinitely more complicated you think it's more complicated than gender the gender oh no how how is it how is it more complicated because surely gender is your full on being because from, Michael, from mind soul you. body and mm-hmm. spirit yeah that's your full mm-hmm. on being because there's also energies yeah so if you're going to tell me that an energy is easier to change but the thing than is, a race why don't you just like if you wanted, let's let's say this. There's this. There's people like this. There's like people that actually want to like. <laughs> I don't want to be. I don't want to be black no more. I don't want to be this goddamn. You feel me? <laughs> I don't want to be this race. I want to be white. So, why wouldn't you just insert yourself into that culture, rather than doing a transition? Because it's easier to assert yourself in that culture if you resemble someone bit. that's from that culture. You're it's not. <laughs> I guess it That's is. That's like saying. So it's like I'm saying, Michael. Every single thing you say, every single argument you say, I can make it a double standard for the gender argument. That is true. I probably have to think about it more. Yeah. Um, but race, low key, is a. What? Race, I think it's low key like a social construct. Yeah, it is. Like, if like if you really think about it, what makes you different is culture, and. Anyone can be But nowadays in society Aren't they trying to argue That gender is a social construct I don't oh, it is. Yo. Gender So that's what I'm saying Every think, single argument you make Is a double standard You can say the exact same shit True But All I'm saying is Like gender I don't like to get into Like talks of gender Because I myself Aren't Like I'm not educated enough Like yeah, I don't yeah. do my research And stuff So Like With me it's like be who you want to be as long as you're so not har- harming anyone else you're cool with okay. a transracial bro transracial you're cool with so- you cool with a white person just putting on the the, the whole sh- <laughs> charcoal see, no, like, see, no, 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 no like I'm talking about transgender like see transgender. The, thing, oh. the thing about me is I can't say I'm cool with it but if we're gonna allow people to switch genders who are we to say that somebody can't switch races that's not what I'm saying though that's what. So what who are we to tell somebody you are invalid to feel that way? If we are, if There's we no can't say that, back we, it up, bro. If we can't say that about people that want to switch their genders, if we can't tell them you are invalid and you are not allowed to feel this way, who? What makes it okay for us to say that when somebody wants to switch the, their race? But the reason we even accept trans acceptance is a thing yeah. is that we know, like we, it's not 
I don't even I don't even know if it's conclusive yet. I haven't researched it in like two three years. Okay, but there's there's trans brains like there's brains that actually like differ from the norm, and there is something that you like. There's a you're gonna get gender dysphoria if you if your okay. brain resembles this, and the way to prevent you from like killing yourself, harming yourself, or going through it's like transitioning. Extreme yeah. anguish. But then this is, is this is our point because those those findings mm-hmm. and those names there had to be discovery before those yeah. names formed. The only reason there was discovery was because someone was saying, "I feel different." Yes, yeah. that's what I'm saying. So and if now, some, if there's a yeah, bunch but, of people saying they want to be black, and we find like the science for it, like, yeah, this, yeah, but this is my point. Go ahead. Once you go like, finding, <laughs> you can find anything. See, see, you yeah, want once you go searching, but the you problem find. is the problem is with this whole thing is, nigga, you can't pick and choose, bro. Like you can't start saying, okay, well, you can transition to this, but you can't transition to this. I'm saying because, you can nigga, right now because there's no science back in the transracial thing. Of I don't think you can. So, nigga. I think down the road it's gonna go to as far as this person is gonna say I identify as a cheater. You can't get like angry at me. Or what a cheater? No, no cheater, cheater. Like the, why? Why oh, is that what you went to? For? <laughs> That's what I'm just saying. I'm saying it can go as far to. <laughs> bro, it's thinking about a feature, bro. <laughs> it's so stupid. But I'm just saying it can go to as far as that because yeah. once we start picking and choosing, nigga. That just that just doesn't work. Cause what, what's what do you mean, baby? <laughs> what identifies a cheater? <laughs> well, we're all gonna end because the thing is like because it furthers the narrative of majority. Mm-hmm. We're gonna get to a point where there will be a majority that wants yes. something. Once that is in place, who? Because this is all society. Society, who makes the names for all these findings? Society. Yeah, I mean, scientists. Yes, yeah, but they're part of society. Are they not human? Yeah, but they're they have a authority that most humans don't. They, they have authority, but then at the end of the day, who is funding all their research? Uh, government. The government. And then the Elites. government also have their own agenda. Donors. Yeah. yeah. I'm not trying to like spill out a conspiracy, but yeah. these are also things that we need to think about as well. You know, yeah. That that's, that then goes into this yeah. question of if we're gonna allow this, what, what's now? Making us stop yeah. allowing this. Because if we start picking and oh. choosing, who's going to decide? Is there going to be a certain person we have that's going to decide, okay, this one's okay, this one's not? I th- Nigga, if we let one go, we have to let them all go. That's no, that's, my, that's my no, theory, no. bro. Yes, I think we people, do. people's minds have been tainted by seeing these like these like people here, oh, I identify, da, 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 da. Like, there's people with mm-hmm. actual issues that have been... That their lives have been measurably changed well, that's by transition. Because it's been looked into. These other people, how do you know they do not have those same mental? No, no. Issues? I'm saying, I'm saying it the reason, the reason, yet. the reason you want to say like, oh, like let's accept this, that, this, this now because we accepted this is because it seems like ev- like there's a lot of people that just go about their day like, mm-hmm. what the fuck, like, <laughs> yo, See, <laughs> I want to be a girl is- today. But people like, are probably going to attack us on the internet for this because it's not the popular opinion right until now. Until it becomes the popular but opinion. Until it becomes a popular opinion, that's when people are going to be like, oh, they're right. Uh, they're, that's fine. Bye, tree. I turn Mexican, I can't lie. What? I turn Mexican. You turn Mexican? You don't like being black? Bro, I'd be Japanese. Nigga, this one's off, nigga. You can't get me, nigga. <laughs> this one's on, though. Yeah, but you can't see me. Yeah, but they know it's you, dumbass. I'm Timothy. <laughs> <laughs> Nah, I'd definitely be Japanese. Japanese. Japanese? If I wasn't Nigerian, I'd want to be Japanese. Why the fuck you want to be Japanese? Does that mean you're going to have to make it? Whoa. Yo, cancel I'm, this man now! Yo, cancel him now! I'm not gonna lie. No, it's for Move the fact that are off. Yo, chill. Nigga, chill, chill. look, they can see, bro. It's just for the fact of, like, I love, uh, like, the culture of Japanese people. How, like, it's respect your old elders. Be neat. <laughs> <laughs> that is Nigerian. No, that is Nigerian, but, like, also, like, the that like their social <laughs> oh sorry <laughs> things that respect your all this <laughs> used to say that it's not a brain function that's forming yeah. that's telling niggas they want to cheat calm calm down calm down i'm just saying it's all everything's a possibility everything's a possibility you can't you can't neglect that yeah i saw something today actually where it was like oh cheating can be like genetics like Genetic? There's like a sixty percent. Like if your dad or grandparent was like a cheater, that means you like for males, 
you have a 60 percent for nigerians zero <laughs> percent <laughs> nigerian men don't cheat but 60 percent chance that you become a cheater and for women it's 40 percent that they inherit the like cheating gene or whatever you know why it's 40 percent for women because <laughs> they didn't get caught that's true <laughs> <laughs> there's no enough there's no enough evidence to yeah, the research. No evidence bro girls are slick <laughs> with it and i think the reason why I think the reason why girls get away with it more is because the nigga, for the nigga to keep running her, he knows he has to keep it a secret. And most guys just don't, I'm not as bothered to search. Yeah. Girls yes, are that he's like the side the piece. But no, no, I no, no, like, no, 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 he's, he's talking about the boyfriend. Like, he's not going to be like, yo, give me your phone, actually. No, 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 I no, no, guys, they, 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 they're, they're, they're saying the that guy that but she's cheating with is not. No, 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 no I'm, I'm talking about, I'm talking about a boyfriend. Yeah. For the most part, okay, in okay. your position, most guys are not. If, if I ask all these guys, I ask all of you, right? Are you gonna go for your girl's phone? Yes. No. Yes. No, as in just natural instinct. Do you oh, want? Do you want to go for your girl's phone? Nah. We know some niggas that would. No, no, of course, no, This is my point. This is my point. If you ask, if you ask, let's say like you ask, let's say you ask like two thirds of guys. You ask two thirds of guys, they're gonna tell you I don't really, I don't have a desire yeah. to go for my girl's phone. That's mm-hmm. true. But you ask two thirds of girls, they're gonna be like, yeah, I want to go for his phone. I just yeah. want to go for his text. Or I just want to go for his gallery. Yeah. Bro, like the like saying no to a girl wanted to go through your phone is like the worst thing you can do, bro. That's like, so, like why? I don't really but, care, like, bro. Yeah. why? But like, she, why are you saying no? No, that's the thing. I mean, why I say it's my it's my fun. Are you paying my bills? Yeah, what she just wants to see, she's your partner. That's what, do you, what do you want to see? Life partner. But that's the thing. Like, we share like, life you have access to my phone, but then, like, what so, exactly? Yeah, but she has access you, to it now. She's so asking you, for access. If you ever had a if reason. If she already has access, why is she asking If me? you ever had a reason, like, yo, I want to check your phone, do you think she should give you her phone? Guy, I, wait, by wait, the wait, time wait. I have a reason, wait, wait, so I'm not asking said, for your phone. Doctor, I'm asking you, you if, she, if whatever my hunch is, I'm asking you that directly. Yeah, what if she's like, If she lies, that's her business. Because if she lies and I find out, is even worse for her. If she lies she and she still keeps phone. me, I'm there. Like I'm not. I'm not gonna go digging. Wait. So, Doxy, you said she already has has access. So you're saying you have a problem with her asking. So essentially, you're saying that you'd rather her just go do it without asking. No, my my point is that you sh- you shouldn't need to like scavenge through my phone. Okay. You, like, there's no reason that you have to like. I'm checking his phone for a reason. I, firstly, I shouldn't have given you that reason. And two, what's the point? Yeah. Like, honest, I think you should have enough trust in me. With most you, guys you in society, I'm sorry, but if a nigga's saying you can't go through my phone, don't say it. Don't say it bro. Eight out of ten times, that nigga's hiding something. <laughs> <laughs> no, but, but <laughs> yeah, yeah, see, if, 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 it's, if it's just a... If you don't already have access to my phone, mm-hmm. I'm telling you no regardless. Okay. Like, if I haven't... If you're not able to just... If you don't know my password, I'm telling you no regardless. Right. Right, Let's because be real though. that's Let's my own private. Because imagine now, if we have a, a conversation between us that is like that is personal to you. Let's say it's personal to you. You told me something very, very personal yeah. to you, yeah. and you said it in the confinement of that conversation. Yeah. If she goes through my phone and sees that conversation, and then all of a sudden you hear something from someone else that you've not told. Yeah, you're at fault. Whose fault is it? It's me because I have. This is my phone. Yeah. There's, there's so many elements to it, but unfortunately, we have a lot of nonsense guys that are not even, they're hiding their phone for a vindictive reason, not even yeah. because they have anything private on their phone. True. But some girls be hurting their own feelings. Like, when you ask to go through my phone, yeah, but they 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 will go through, like, the parts where it was before we even started talking. Yeah, they'll go through, like, and then they'll get mad at you for that. Great like, problems from you. Just like, yeah. this is like, but I don't know why you're talking, this is like, Lover boy problems for us three, like <laughs> you're not loving this. Oh yeah, with your fucking single ass name. Whoa, <laughs> yeah. what? Yo, I'm cuffed. To who? Don't worry. Why would I say? Why are you hiding me? Are you what? embarrassed? Yeah. Though? Why are you hiding? You're embarrassed. 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 You're embar
Yeah, oh, introduction. Introduction. Welcome to another special episode. I'm your host, DX. Keyshawn in the building. I think that's the longest we've ever taken to get into the introduction. <laughs> wow. Introduction at the end. That's not my business, bro. Oh shit. Yeah, we have some special guests with us. I'd like to introduce yourselves. Hello, Sam. My name is Michael. Oh, I'm back for the third time. <laughs> third time. Still there, show up to the live show though. BCU, BCU. You sold out tickets. <laughs> yeah, but there was tickets before we were sold out. My, c- come on, come on. That's yeah. a good point. I was in a bad spot financially. I didn't have twenty dollars on me. Real nigga, real nigga. <laughs> Anything to shout out? Ebo, is that like possible? Man? I'm not Ebo, bro. Aren't you guys supposed to be like business savvy? I'm not Ebo. Well, no, Ebo, oh, really? Ebo, Ebo isn't there for being stingy. Money, I'm man. not even Ebo. Oh, yeah? I'm so his people. Gonna, so you're going to deny you're your my father. people. That's insane. Who, 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 who my father? father. Like he's denying <laughs> his father. <laughs> 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 I'm saying, Dad, I don't blame you. I'm not Ebo, though. Who, who, who are my people? Yo, I I'm hope your dad sees this clip. I actually hope your dad sees this clip. You say you're Ghanaian? No, I'm from Benin. Am I from Benin? Where you from? Yeah, you are. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah no, this guy. We're from the same spot, bro. We used to fish at the same spot. <laughs> <laughs> oh, your canoes, nigga. Damn. Oh. Wait, can you swim? Whoa. <laughs> why would you do that to me, bro? <laughs> Put me on blast like that, bro. No, I can't. Oh, you actually no breast straight? I, even I can't. I can't. Don't curl or whatever. But like. That's it, Nick. Damn, this is why I'm, I'm gonna think about. I've never seen you swim. Wow. Yeah, you have, bro. Yeah, you when have. Did he swim? Uh, at a um, place he's, in the south. Probably he's like probably two summers ago. Nigga, that was I saved him. No, 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 no. no, no. no. <laughs> it was it wasn't me you saved, bro. Oh, 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 yeah, it was. <laughs> I was in I was in the shallow end, bro. <laughs> You've never seen me in there, bro. <laughs> <laughs> it was that idiot that decided to jump from the board yeah, thing, yeah, and he couldn't swim. Oh, yeah, that's stupid thing. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, uh, you know see. who killed me that thing evicted. <laughs> nigga would do three strokes and then he start drowning. He starts sinking. Then <laughs> 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 start drowning. Nah. Yo. What's it called? I think me. Because he can't swim, right? You went to the deep end? Yeah. He grabbed me and Tino. <laughs> we were both going down. Yeah. Nigga started holding. He started going down with that nigga. Let that nigga go, bro. Oh, but is it dude. acceptable <laughs> to be like like a grown man and not know how to swim, though? I think you should learn. Because, like, why? Just like guys, survival. We're not we're survival 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 instincts. Yeah, yeah, I mean, we're yeah. not surrounded by the ocean. Where no, we're like, no, but there's, there's no happens? tsunami warning. I know you be right, thinking then, sometimes, like, yo, no. if I fell in this water right now, I would die. Like, I've never really been around. Water. No, but that's the thing. What, like, what about your kids? Like, let's My say kids, your kid, if you see your kid drowning, you are helpless. I'll figure, I'll figure it out, bro. <laughs> <laughs> you, you, you get that um, the well, pool cleaner. No, they are going to places that are supervised by a lifeguard. Maybe you you know you don't know that they go to. What do you mean crib. I don't know that they're my kids? <laughs> no, they go, to, they go to like they go to their friends' crib. What? What black kid is allowed to go to their friends' crib? That's true, bro. That's true. If I have kids, they're not you going they're anywhere. They're staying home and studying. They're getting that treatment I got, bro. <laughs> Daddy, like, I want to sleep. Oh, shut up your mouth! <laughs> shut up your mouth! Don't kill me! <laughs> oh fuck! Nigga, were you allowed anything? to have sleepovers? No. Yeah, anything to shut me? No. I was allowed to sleep over at my cousins. Yeah, yeah family, 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 family members. Family, yeah. family what? But my cousins that's were like my best friends. Right, but that's up, your say so that like, auntie place, bro. bro. For yeah, me, yeah. it was cool because yeah. they're like my best friends growing up, so it was cool. Bro. Yeah. Yo, when I go to Canada, did you guys have like a curfew when you got to Canada? Yes. Yeah. Like, what was your okay? Five. My curfew was right after school. Right after Come school. Home, yeah. Like, middle school. Depending on how long the bus took to get home, that was my curfew. Yo, middle school was five p.m. Even if I had basketball practice, I had to leave. Nigga, middle school, nigga, I had that shit in grade ten. Come yo. home right after school. That's crazy. Yeah, yo, gonna middle, lie. yo, high school is dangerous, bro. High school was horrendous. <laughs> it was dangerous, bro. <laughs> what? <laughs> Remember that day? That day we were all just chilling by the windows, and we see my parents walking up. Yeah. I just oh, ran. Yeah. I oh, sprinted. by the gym? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just bro, sprinted. Parents used to just like just walk in like when, once you saw someone's parents. Yo, like, go get, go get Isaac, go get Michael, go, go get Sam. Da, da, da. Like, yeah. Yo, you cut, cut, cut. up. And the thing is, every time niggas parents would come in, you just see niggas behind their parents. Niggas <laughs> 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 are looking yeah, down. Yeah, you pull up your show, pants. Sh- you have yo. to show respect, bro. Oh like, my days. Bro, yeah. After you've been acting like a bad man the whole <laughs> Bro, this guy was spitting games to some girl when that happened. <laughs> you remember that shit? You were, was in the was in school or outside? It was in school, bro. It was by it was remember when oh no no, no that was 
Dude, that, that was, was K. That yeah, was K. Yeah, nah, spinning nigga, games, no, no, no. Nigga, yeah. I remember this one time. Uh, me and Ola, we went to this dance. And uh, it was like the spring fling dance. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, nigga, I'm walking. I'm walking down the street because we dished to go to 7-Eleven. So, we're, we're with two girls. I know Ola's going to kill me. <laughs> we're with two Ola. girls. Nigga. So, after we're walking, I was like, Ola's like, Izzy, is that your mom? Nigga, my mom's driving in her van like this, waiting for me to come. Bro, nigga, I see my mom. I jump in the bush. Huh? <laughs> this is just looking at me. Like, what the fuck is wrong with this nigga? Bro, there's been too Bro. many times for you, nigga. Too many nigga, times. What time we were walking home and you, you saw your dad's uh, whip just drive by? Bro, we used to be on patrol. Bro. <laughs> patrol mode, bro. Nah, I look you don't want to drop the name, but remember one of our friends was chilling with the girls, right? And so, oh, his dad just him? walked in, caught him kissing Shorty on the cheek. Oh, chair. yeah. I was like, like, is this bro? what you're doing? Is that what you're doing? <laughs> nigga, I remember I was walking down the street with this one girl, and we we're we we're about to go on a date. And nigga, I remember my mom, bro, my mom turned into fucking Dom Toretto, my nigga from Fast and Furious. <laughs> nigga zooming down, cutting through lanes, cutting through traffic. Oh, she me. swerves the fucking car in front of us, and she's like, "Get in the, nigga, she's like, get in the car." And she starts, bro, she's yelling at me, and this girl looks at me like. Oh, you should you should choose me over your mom. Eh? Bitch, I'm getting in the car. <laughs> nigga, I got this that bitch, nigga. Yo, the next day was the worst thing because this girl's friends are trying to curse me out. They're 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 calling me on the phone. Oh, you're not a man. You dissed her. You went for bro, your mom. Bro, bro, this is this is not, not I was in grade eleven. Bro, <laughs> wait. I oh. still have a home to come home to, bro. <laughs> like nigga. I'm not gonna lie, you're a house arrest though. Oh yeah. Oh, bad. What was color was she? Rest. She was uh, Arab. Mm. Those, those girls low-key have high ass expectations but that's Arab to girls? be fair like that's how they're brought up like they have like that pedestal like you have to meet yeah this this and this not necessarily really bad girl, things so though. i wouldn't know what so i only mess with uh nubian queens so i wouldn't know who does that mean so what do you have against arab girls i don't have anything against arab girls but you don't mess with them yeah i just so haven't had that uh, no, there's attractive Arab girls. But... No, I'm saying, are you not attractive? Yeah, of course I am. Okay, so why don't you go for that? <laughs> Just haven't had that opportunity yet. And oh, so I'm in my lover boy. wasn't like flooded with Arab girls? What? At first he wasn't <laughs> flooded with Arab girls? But like... Like, I went to Dakota, but you went to that first I was in a relationship. <laughs> for all of high school? And a, a good bit of it. How was your relationship? Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa what are we doing, bro? <laughs> Listen, uh, I, I was I was yo. a true lover boy before all lover boys. Me and me and Sam. Yo, high you. school was. You're like implying that you're not one now, huh? Yo, I'm in lover boy phase right now. Lover really? boy nah. mode, bro. What's the, what's what's the, the? It's hard, bro. You guys, you guys don't understand what, how hard it is. What one tells the lover boy? Phase. You know, you, you're a lover boy too. Yeah, I'm for you. you. I don't know about you, bro. You could be lying. Whoa, okay, lover boy, for me, it's caring, you know. For caring. me? Whoa, well, let me... There's more. Oh, oh, you're yeah, still going? <laughs> yeah, caring. caring. Caring about their feelings. Caring about their day. Right. Getting involved, you know. Getting to Those know are common them. decencies. I was about to say. Those yeah. are very those common. Those are just... But well, you don't do that, bro. <laughs> you don't care about these, these bitches, nigga. You don't care about them. Why the fuck would I care Yo. about the random? I can't lie. But for me, being a lover boy... Oh, my God. For me, <laughs> being a lover boy is someone who's open to finding love. Who doesn't close off certain areas of their life someone who is acting i would say actively down to be vulnerable with these girls that's so true but the worst people you gotta avoid is people that will make you tell them or, or get you in that spot to be vulnerable with them you know give them all the information about your life and then just fucking chuck you those are the worst ones i'm not gonna avoid I, girls i said this on social media before stop telling people how to love you then get mad when they just use know like how to get to your heart get you to do what you want them to do yeah and then they cut after like yeah why are you telling this man why yeah why are you telling things me, oh, that you like yeah so you if you just, talk to me like, like this oh i would i would fall in love with you like call okay. me this name call you're, me you're, that i'm uh, taking notes okay but, like, <laughs> you want this you want that oh you, not you're one of them not me but like some oh, other niggas damn what? You fucked up. No, I didn't. <laughs> <laughs> nah. Yo, high school was a tough time for some people. Especially Lover boys, religion. bro. Lover boys. Yo. yo. <laughs> Michael knows stuff. Yeah, bro. 
This guy, Yo, this guy used to take out his, his lover boy frustrations on. Wait, that does not sound good. <laughs> <laughs> horrible. That's that's horrible. horrible. <laughs> he used to take out his his relationship frustration. Damn, that shit doesn't even sound good. He used to punch me. Basically, <laughs> that's what it was. Yeah. Cause uh, <laughs> so, someone wasn't acting right, bro. Someone wasn't acting right. This 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 nigga will see me in the hallway. <laughs> see me in the hallway, bro. This ball. No, bro. Yo. yo, remember that one day I had a speaker in my hand and we just walked home. Yeah, bro. This guy yeah. said. This guy said, I don't want to bust today. Let's walk home in the rain. I said, <laughs> what? I said, yo, nigga. <laughs> No, I, I, the bus bro, is coming this right is now. Me and Quadji, see, y'all niggas are like the simp versions of that. Me and Quadji walked around the old neighborhood playing fucking future, talking about being toxic, my nigga. We're <laughs> <laughs> the fucking opposite, bro. bro. Yeah, like, Quadji, you that's good for bro. a walk. I was like, you talk Quadji, all he knows? <laughs> yo, Quadji's like, yo. I would say I'm like his son. You're like Quadri's son? Yes. Nah, that's not even believable. <laughs> <laughs> I just, bro, we're playing flipping X. Like damn, all that type. Yo. But like it's bro, it it's hard. Sad, it's hard bro. being a lover boy, bro. Like it is, bro. Because people, you, people like you can't even shit. fathom that shit. Because nigga, like, always that's being why? open to love. Because nigga, a lot of people want to set up barriers and boundaries because they are not looking to get Listen, hurt. Nigga, being a lover boy, you have to not be afraid of getting hurt. That's why you were you and was it who else was in that? You and who? And like Sheree, when we were in that um, Instagram live. And I was like, oh, what's the worst thing you did to down bad? He was like, oh, yeah, I went, I went out, like, I drove out to go f- see this person. Like, it was far. Like, yeah, I wanted their company. You were I wasn't baking him. I, <laughs> I, no, no, you can play it back. You can play it back. Because I was like, oh, I understand. Because I didn't understand at first. I misunderstood what he was saying. But you can't even comprehend, like, just wanting, just being, like, infatuated with someone that you just want their company. Bro. Like, yeah, you can't, like, you don't even have that anymore. I for a cab. Nigga, no. Bro, that's like, you, yo, you let did me not tell you some stories, though. Like, you bro. Did, like, bro, get, like, get into it. For, bro. for yeah. someone's company, bro, you can't even, you can't even think of that. Okay, bro. so let Michael, me... as I recall, you left the call before we <laughs> asked you that question. So what would call? you be prepared to answer it now? What? The the lie. We the asked, what was the most thing. down bad thing? Could we ask you was that? Was it my now? question? It yes. was my question. But we were all supposed to answer. Did you answer? It, yeah, I did. <laughs> What's my most uh, down bad experience? Or yeah. Th- the most down bad thing I did for a girl? Yeah. I think I thought of this back then. I just don't remember what my answer was. I don't want to lie. Cause, uh, we'll I'm give capping. you time. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, uh, if it was bad, you, you should remember. <laughs> no, no, like, it wasn't <laughs> down bad. Do you remember something for me? Because I tell you everything, bro. Probably... I can't even remember like that, but like I was thinking about. Uh, you can say it, bro. Like just don't no, say no names. No, not not with you. Like what oh. happened to me? What? McDonald's. Oh, that. <laughs> you can bro. say it, bro. Like you don't just don't say no names, bro. Like yeah. or you don't have to say never. <laughs> well, I mean, yeah, she see it, she see it, but like, shorty punched me in the face. <laughs> <laughs> shorty For punched love. me in the face. Do you know what's the thing about it? She punched me in the face. And we didn't even break up over it type shit. Like, he just let it slide and let it rock. Let it, yo, she just like you know, like you let her punch. She, no, no, she I, didn't, her, bro. She, I she, didn't let her punch. What she did, like, she just decked me in my shit. What did you? What did you? And you walked do? away. So, like, yeah, like bro, I can't chase you, bitch. In public. No, I'm saying, what did you do? We okay, we're sitting down, we're joking type sh- type shit. Like, oh, the the, and she made a mistake, and I started making fun of her for making the mistake, and she's like, oh, don't. Oh, I'm gonna punch you. I'm like, no, you ain't. She's like, yeah, yeah. I'm like, do it, yo. Okay, <laughs> yeah, but she did it. But, no, like, but she was <laughs> like, no, this like, guy was not expecting. It. <laughs> That's crazy though. Like she balled up her fist, hit me right under the eye. I was like, so I, <laughs> wait. I, <laughs> I got up, went to the bathroom. I came back. She was gone. Guy, I was like, like wow. that, uh, that Russell Westbrook. Wait, what? <laughs> like, literally, I was like, I looked at her. And I was like, wait, what? And then I got up, came back. Then she left. And then I saw her at school. Hey, sh- <laughs> <laughs> That's the one I shoved blue for. This guy came to me. You know what my guy did to me? But I'm like, what the fuck? I saw, no, I saw her on Monday. And then, you know, you start talking about it. Then the waterworks start coming in. And she's like, crying. and I'm like, okay. You it's okay. Cry. So, bro, I was like, when I tell you, yeah, as, in, down in high school, I was just such a like, 
like when it came to like dating someone, I was just so soft. I was like yeah, a rollover. Yeah, nigga was so like. <laughs> and then and then every time like something went wrong, I was, like when he says like I beat this nigga up, like no, whoa, like, whoa. Dead ass, like that, that doesn't sound him. good, nigga. I ain't let him like fucking beat my ass type shit. He just come over, punch me in the arm, like, <laughs> like, I'll, I'll, like, like you, you won't be expecting it. I'll come up behind him and just like full force, bow. Yeah, and he just look at me like, what happened? Like, <laughs> what happened this time, nigga? Yeah, let, let you his frustration. Bro, bro, I had to bro. let it out so he ain't beat her ass. Type shit. <laughs> oh, yeah. All I can say is karma got her. Vibe. Vibe. Hey, I had no. I had no parts in karma, bro. <laughs> Karma's a bitch, bro. She got a right hook. <laughs> hey, back, back to you. <laughs> Back to you, Michael. Whoa, why are y'all here. not forgetting this shit? Y'all have <laughs> some good ass memory. <laughs> Michael Evil, bro. This is how we're gonna end the pod on yours. It's gonna Wait. be the highlight of the show. But the thing is, I actually have to. I wasn't thinking about it. What's the most down bad moment I've done? Was it either to get a, oh. to get like a girl back or no? No, I think I know. When when you told me about the situation where y'all were walking <laughs> and she just said something. About someone else. Oh, I can't even say that, bro. <laughs> that's fuck. I can't even say that, bro. That's that's fuck. Like, I tell this nigga everything type shit. Like, this nigga knows like the details, bro. bro. Fuck. <laughs> nah, I'm not gonna nah. lie. That's not even like down bad. Like, Don't I would just, just say some stupid. shit. I let slide type yeah. shit. So, so why do you think you were a simp, bitch? <laughs> Yo, I was a simp though. Like, I'm not gonna. No, no, not simp. A simp, bitch. <laughs> I was none of those things, bro. I've never been any Why of those. Why did you things. let that shit slide? If it still bothered you this much, no, just a nigga. I don't. I don't if it doesn't that. bother you, you say. Yeah, but it's like it's embarrassing. Like, ah, uh, you think all the laws were embarrassing? Like, Yours what? wasn't that bad, bro. Like, nigga, seventeen dollars. What? It's insane. To, to this go good. run some cheeks. Yo, Actually, ever since high school, this nigga. Oh, okay, I can. I can. You I can see it. I can see it. I can see it. So. I went out on this date with this girl. She was proper. Yeah. Spent some, spent some money, <laughs> a good amount of money. Oh fuck. Money I don't usually spend. Fuck. It wasn't that much. It was like forty dollars. But I was, she was <laughs> white, wasn't she? I don't spend that much. The <laughs> fuck. But that happened. You know, it's time to get the business. This girl said, "So I'm going home, yeah?" I said, "What?" <laughs> Don't you know you owe me? Hmm? What? Whoa. Oh, wow. I that's what you were trying to get. What the fuck? Wow. I said, is I, he... I said, no, no. She's like, she's like, oh, I got stuff to do in the morning. And I'm taking that as like, like, she's like, oh, I got so much stuff to do in the morning. Like, I'm not going to ask you like, yo, you want to, you feel me? And we already talked about it prior. All right. So I'm like, I get in the, we get in the car. It was like. Like, it was cool. It was a chill experience. And I take her home, right? I'm like, I'm taking you home. Go home. You got shit to do in the morning. And then as I'm going home, <laughs> I'm like, this can't be it. <laughs> I'm like, oh. <laughs> this can't be it. Oh, hold on, hold on. I said, I said, oh, no, <laughs> this can't be it, <laughs> right? So I'm, I'm driving home. Sense. And there'd been this uh this thing I was messing with. Oh, <laughs> it's not even that bad. Like I say it though. I- no, no, I'm just I'm saying it's not bad enough to like say it. Like basically, I hit up someone else because like you were so horny that you wanted to get your nut off. No, it's that I spent so much. Like I I, I did what I usually don't do for this girl, and I'm like. What the fuck? I'm not just going to waste my fucking time and so go home. is it safe to say you did all that because you thought, like, something was guaranteed? I didn't think it was guaranteed, but okay. I thought that's not how, that's not how, that's not how those encounters usually go, is what I'll say. Okay. Yeah. So, did you think spending all that money would help your chances? No, to be honest, I was just being, like, nice. I didn't really think about it till after. Like I was like, wait. <laughs> I was like, wait. Well, when, what the fuck? Said, I'm not I'm dating this girl. Home? Is that what you realized? No, no. I thought about it, like when I was driving home type shit. Like, okay. like it's not like the money's not even a big deal. Like yeah. it's not like I got it like that. But like I, 
I was just trying to be nice. Like, I was just covering bills and shit. Well, not yeah. bills, but covering whatever she needed. Yeah. So, yeah, I Ish. called the, this person that I, I wasn't, I wasn't going to talk to, that, had, uh, that I wasn't talking to. Called them up and, uh, you know. What did you do? You cried? We just uh, had a good conversation. You feel me? And uh, that was about that. Have you guys ever cried and confided in one of your girlfriends? One of my girlfriends? Not girlfriend, but like friends Mm -hmm. that are a girl. Nah. What about you, Michael? In my, one of my friends that is a girl? Nah. Have I cried and confided in you? I've confided in you. I don't know if I've ever cried. I don't believe you've cried, though. What about you? I don't know if I've ever cried. I don't think I've ever been in that spot. Not at the same time. No, but so it's I definitely... feel like it'd probably be different for you just because like Me. your closest friends are girls. No, nah, it's only happened once, but I yeah. don't. It's not something that I would do. Yeah, bro. There's is no it girl that because to is it just because you don't typically cry in general, or does it have to do with like the gender? Yeah, I don't. I don't. I hold. I don't really um, express too much. I'm starting to, but I don't really. Ex- yeah. I don't really like expressing too I'll much. No. Yeah. So would you have a preference in gender that you would rather want to open up to, or it doesn't really matter for you? No, I don't really. I think it doesn't doesn't matter for me. For me, <coughs> only like not in a bad like I can open up to like my uh, friends are women, but like I'd specifically open up to my girl, like in a manner of like real deal problems, shits hitting. I would talk to my girl type, but like just. Female friends, because in reality, you don't really give a fuck. Like, if I'm really telling you, you actually, don't really give. A f- Wait, no, are you like, saying like the girlfriends? Niggas? No, oh. my like, I, of course, like if like shit's hitting a fan, I'll probably tell these two niggas first. Like, yeah. if, if something's like going wrong, like yo. But like other than that, like they're not gonna like care as much as they say they do. Like, oh, I care about you. Da, da, da. Mm. No, you don't. <laughs> I remember like, Doxy explaining that it's not that they don't care, but it's that they don't understand. understand. Yeah. 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 So why can't they make an effort to try and understand? Because no one has time. Not, to, most of the time, no one has time. No one wants to make time. Well, I'm confiding yeah. in, unless, in for you. I'm confiding uh, in you for a reason. Wait, so yeah, but then it's, most it's unless unless they unless they want to dedicate their time to you. Well, I mean, like this is your girl. He said, right? Yeah, no. but then that's what I'm saying. If if oh. you're feeling like that, that means she does not have time, nor does she want to dedicate the time to you. Oh, I thought we were just talking about like girls. girls. Oh, like, right. you to, said like, your to girl. You, you said that you no. would confide in your girl. Well, yeah, yeah, like if shit girl. hits the fan, if it's like my girl, yeah, I can confide in her. But like friends that are just girls, they they don't really care like that. So mm-hmm. how do you guys get over the fact that if you guys potentially break up, all that information bro, that, that's you get, the worst. that you've yeah, given can be used against you. That is literally the worst. I'm bro. not gonna lie. <laughs> that's, you that's just have to keep it stepping, bro. That's my problem. But actually. but you just want to. <laughs> you know what? You know what the fucked up thing is. You just have to be like, I have shit on you too, bitch. Like. like not only do you have all my secrets, that's the most toxic shit I've ever I heard. Shit nigga. Too, so <laughs> if I, I ever hear up. any of this shit out, yo, you're you're done. Empty in the clip. No, but that's a that's one thing that like I think my exes could agree on. During like, cause I the thing is I've never dated someone for a really long time, so I've never had the opportunity to actually open up to them. So mm. they always like, oh, feels like you're not talking to me about all the stuff that. Uh, Cause That's like horrible. when we break up, you're gonna be telling any mini my my nemo, and I'm here my business on the street. Nah, to be honest, I just I just think it's it's the character of the person. <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa! Any <laughs> <laughs> mini my, it's, it's the character of the person that you choose to be with. Like, you just have to know the person okay. for who Literally. they are. Yeah. Before you get with them, rather than who they are with you. That's really it. So yeah. how do? niggas that are getting actively getting into relationships is it just like a sense of maturity but like how are you getting over the fact that if i open up to this girl there's a possibility that every single thing i have said she's either telling her friends right now because she's looking for guidance or help and girls or do that. she could be making fun of me girls no, we, do we, that we, shit we so much if you have like yeah but, but guys do it too when yeah. we don't know what to do we confide in our yeah, friends if, if my girl's true. telling me some some personal shit, i'm not gonna come tell you that yeah. shit. that's true that's true like yeah. girls will actually like yo we're having this problem in the bedroom like type shit they will like actually yo, say that's the kind of stuff that's burnt yeah. Like anyway, Sha. Anyways, we can carry on this conversation. But yeah, I, I don't know. It, a lot of it, it's it's 
person again like mm-hmm. it goes beyond genders now plus because like you said guys do it too so yeah um subscribe uh subscribe comment share as well bcu bcu share the share the pod That's it, um, make sure you like and follow everyone i'll put their tags in there peace no out cap. no vibes